I'd like you to introduce you to everybody that's on the call from Straight Up Care today. Uh, we have Jonathan Lewis with us from uh, from Maine today. He's on the coast. And then we have Toon. Toon, where are you at again today? I'm in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Awesome. So they'll be helping us out. Toon's going to answer any questions that you have in the chat box and kind of save your questions for us to get to at the end. Um, and Jonathan has some things he'll be talking to us about just a little bit later. Uh, to introduce myself, my name is Dr. Mo, um, and I am the CEO of Straight Up Care, and I'm excited to talk to you all about peer supports and what they look like. So first, I want to tell you what Straight Up Care is, and Straight Up Care is a turnkey web-based application uh, for peer supports to connect, right? Where this one easy-to-use space which I'm, with a matching algorithm or this method of fast-tracking rapport that can lead to continued report appointments uh, with our clients. So Straight Up Care also has an online asynchronous uh, peer support training, and we'll talk a little bit about what that looks like here in just a little bit too. So for those of you who might be on the call that don't know a lot about uh, peer specialist work or what it looks like, I want you to kind of just take this journey with me, if you will. So a woman is walking down the street and she finds a man in his car. She sees that he has pinpoint pupils and he has low, slow to really no breathing. Luckily, she knows what to do and she calls 911. She starts CPR and thankfully she has Narcan in her purse. She administers that Narcan to a person and um, to that person and he starts to, his breathing starts getting back to normal, right? They get him in the, in the ER to the ER and they get him treated for his withdrawals um, and his overdose. And they kind of give him just a little bit of information about maybe places he could reach out for extended care. Because of his past mistakes, he gets dismissed back into the wild um, and has to walk a couple of miles back to his car. He's in precipitated opioid withdrawal and is about to be super sick um, because he didn't get the services that he needed in the ER. His recovery path you know, might not be as successful as others. We're really trying to implement uh, services and find out what we can do in these areas. These are just some of the gaps that we have, right? So as we're talking about recovery paths and what they can look like, I want you to just take a look at this slide, right? We could be, recovery paths can look like so many different things. They can look like treatment, support groups, medical assisted treatment or detox therapy, and of course, remission. Remission is part of recovery and what it looks like. But what I really want you to pay attention to is what a peer specialist or a peer support or a peer worker can do. At, at the point where anyone decides that they want or need help, a peer specialist can be there to help them navigate that process. And when I'm talking recovery, I know this slide shows a lot of recovery in terms of addiction, but recovery just doesn't mean addiction. Recovery can be mental health or even a loved one who could help others navigate that process with other loved ones. I know as a person in recovery, I get a lot of questions like, what can I do for my brother, my uncle, my sister, my whatever? And so those people who have navigated that process and how to love someone where they are and how to help them move to the next stage is really important too. So what a peer specialist is or a peer worker is, is someone in recovery who can help other people navigate their process of recovery along the way. So as we were learning about this, you know, I've been doing research for the last four years in addiction recovery. And what are the gaps in recovery is what I was looking for. You know, why isn't treatment working better than it is? Why aren't more people being positively impacted by the services that we already have in existence? And so I found peer support or peers, as in us, peers, just people supporting other people along their recovery uh, path. But then more specifically, I looked at peer specialists and how they can really be this evidence-based answer to what the gaps really are in this addiction and mental health care crisis. And so um, I became a peer specialist. And then we, uh, Jonathan and I started surveying peer specialists and asking them, what do you need? Why aren't we reaching people in rural areas? Why are we not able to get these services onto Native American uh, reservations? Like, what are we doing that we're not reaching the spaces where, you know, the, the big, large population of people are? And what can we do to help you? And so here's what we found. We found that there is a shortage of peer specialists. So people don't know how awesome they can be in their recovery to help other people. They don't know that this profession exists. Um, also the accessibility, like I said, being able to reach people in these rural areas is something that we're really struggling with. And then the standards of peer specialists. So we'll talk a little bit more about that, but being able to understand across the board, what do the standards look like? What, what do we need to become a peer specialist in different areas? So accessing peer supports being our being our number one struggle. 
So what we did is we took what everyone told us were the problems and we created straight up care. So again, this web-based app that provides training, asynchronous online training to be specific, administrative tools and compliant tools for peer specialists to support their clients remotely. Again, using this matching algorithm and being able to help people um, reach their clients where they're at. So this is what we found to help fill some of the gaps in those areas. And Jonathan's going to talk more about this. I know I'm buzzing through. I get so excited that mm -hmm. things get fast. So I apologize, but we can uh, revisit any of these things as we see fit after we get through all the information. So where do peer specialists work or where can these services really, where do we need to navigate these? These are just some of the spaces, right? Um, EAPs or employment um, assistance programs, treatment centers, wellness centers, mental health, um, emergency medical, people that are justice impacted, college campuses, independent peers can use these services to reach out and be solopreneurs, which is primarily what we're going to talk about today. We really wanted to decrease all the barriers that we possibly could for people in recovery, helping other people in recovery. So that meaning, like I said, we created a 46 hour online a peer certificate program that will shortly be NADAC approved. Um, and we created every tool and well, and by we, I mean, Jonathan created every tool and HIPAA compliant thing that peer supports need to reach their clients and work for themselves, pick your own schedule and being able to just, just be what you want to be to be able to help people. So this talks a little bit more about it. Again, a, just a turnkey platform. So straight up care is just specifically for peer supports. And there's not really anything out there um, that that looks exactly like us right now, um, except for this DIY. So being able to kind of pull in your, your Google phone number or your scheduling app or you're using Zoom. But what we don't remember sometimes, or maybe we don't even know, is that a lot of those things are not HIPAA compliant. If you're not paying for the um, more expensive package for Zoom, it's not HIPAA compliant. If your scheduling app doesn't specifically say that it has HIPAA compliance, or if your, your Google phone number is not HIPAA compliant, and Jonathan will probably talk more about this, but these are some of the things that we took into consideration to make sure that not only you are safe, but your clients are safe as well. So again, that was the fast, um, that was the fast Mo Pain version of this, but I'm going to click it over to Jonathan and he's going to talk a little bit more. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Mo. And just get over to share a screen real quick. Anyways, I am uh, Jonathan Lewis. I am the Chief Technical Officer of Straight Up Care. And I also run a consulting and marketing company. I've been doing that for about 15 years. So yeah, I do consulting. I do marketing. I help small businesses get found online. I also do a lot of uh, software development, and I'm also in recovery. Um, and just a disclaimer, just to get it out of the way, this is not legal accounting or professional advice in any way. Um, we've built this platform to make it as turnkey as possible um, for anyone who wants to be a peer specialist or anyone who already is, that they can pick up and the lowest barrier to entry that we could possibly make it. Dr. Mo did talk a little bit about the changes in HIPAA, uh, what most telehealth companies are doing that are quickly coming to an end now that the COVID restrictions are being dismantled. And we have taken that into account and know that a lot of people are looking for, you know, the best way to be compliant. The, uh, the main thing that we get compared to most of the time is, you know, your standard telehealth companies like BetterHelp, Teladoc, um, places like that really aren't set up uh, to help the physician succeed pretty much. It's, I think the standard for most of them, it's 45 and you can work your way up to $60 an hour and, you know, you don't get to choose who you work with as much. It's not very flexible. Um, and where one of the biggest companies really get you is they say you are making $60 an hour, but they only charge for a 45 minute appointment and only pay you for 45 minutes. And that works out to be making about 25% less with us. You know, we're trying to make everything as fair as possible, as helpful as possible. And basically, connect peer specialists with those who need them. I'm going to talk a little bit about 
how peer specialists can really fill this gap. Um, but as a peer specialist, it's your business. And that's what we do. It's you don't really, you're not an employee of straight up care. You would, this is a software. It's a tool that you can use to help you better facilitate meeting with your clients, um, collecting payment. A lot of people don't know that a lot of the payment systems uh, just are not in compliance with HIPAA. And we've, we went leaps and bounds to make sure that that is taken care of. So when you look at an actual customer, this is a part of a website that I've built. Most peer specialists usually charge around 30, heard some up to um, 150. For most people, the startup cost, when you start your own practice, it's around 60%. So we'll set that at 60, say one person, comes visit you every week for a year. So 52, you're looking at a yearly value of $936. But with our company, we can bump that up where obviously you make more, it's lower overhead, lower cost. And if you look at this a little bit better, you can see that 1248, Excuse me for being slow. Dr. Mo's real fast. I'm not as fast as her. If you're working part-time, just 20 hours a week on the low end, you should be, that should be your part-time income, up almost $25,000. If you're working 40 hours a week, meeting with 40 clients a week, you're close to 50, which is not bad at all for you know, a peer specialist. But let's say, you know, if some people charge 150, let's bump it around mid 40s or low 40s. As you can see, obviously, it's a much better lifetime value of uh, seeing someone for a year. And pop that in there real quick. And say you're working 40 hours a week. Again, not a bad, not a bad year for working 40 hours a week. If you take in what, you know, half of the 150, we'll just set it at 70. It's a little less than half. Not a bad hourly rate. I think that that's more than fair. Um, working 40 hours a week. Again, a peer specialist has a potential to not only make some money, but actually help people. And that's kind of what we're doing. We, we want to empower peer specialists. There's this, the barrier to entry has been impossible to keep up with the demand for mental services and substance uh, use disorder services. There's, you know, if the traditional route has been go to college, spend tons of money, actually was uh, friends with somebody who went to a two-year college online, spent thousands and thousands of dollars, and then found out after she had graduated that the state of Florida did not even accept that college's accreditation. So she had to take a lower paying job, didn't even work. We've went uh, through quite a large process, and I believe we have the only compiled list that has been recently updated of state requirements for each state to become a peer specialist. And now we have that database as part of our site. So, like I said, we want to empower you um, and make this as easy as possible. Our system is built to be as flexible um, as you are. You set your own prices, set your own hours, choose who you work with or don't work with. We've set it up to make sure that you have better connections so you can build rapport faster. It's based on a very um, high-tech algorithm, very similar to the popular dating websites where we have weighted scores based on you know your lived experiences, your history, your hobbies, your passions. And we match that when someone is looking for someone in your area. 
And I think what most people get excited is, about is that we do the marketing for you, that 60 to 70 percent um, cost of goods on the chart that we just looked at, that takes into account that you've been in business a while and most people starting an online business spend anywhere to 15 to 20 percent on marketing. So the marketing is covered for that. You, you don't have to mess with your marketing. But the most important thing of all of this is that, you know, you're, you're the owner, you're a business owner, you are the business as a peer specialist. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that they're just so excited to know that where they came from to become a peer specialist with their lived experience, they are now uh, a part of the community. They go to the city councils and, you know, they have a sense of pride about themselves. That's just part of the environment that we like to just make sure that the ownership stays yours. So the whole ecosystem, and that's really what it is, it's, I would love to say it's just a great telehealth platform, and I, I do believe it is, but the ecosystem that we provide uh, is the telehealth app itself. Like Dr. Mo mentioned, we have the full training. We are in the process of adding even more for continued education hours, um, but we also have the specific directory and matching, uh, very easy to search directory site uh, that helps more people find you specifically and gives you more marketing backlinks, which without getting too technical, which Dr. Mo warned me about, um, that's how you rank in search engines. So that is what we are doing our best to do. And we build you a custom site, uh, doesn't have any of our branding on it really at all. Um, everything can be put into your site, even the app itself. So if someone went to your website, they can use all functionality of the app inside of your website and your domain. And you can bring your own domain name. Um, and that's just one of the costs that we don't cover on this. Um, it's set up where it can look like it's you and you alone running this. And that's really what it is. Um, we'll be there for you. We do support. We have a uh, compliance officer that works hard constantly to help make sure everyone knows about the HIPAA updates and laws. Um, but this is your business. So first, the, the peer training itself. It's, again, it's asynchronous, completely on your schedule. You can get certified at your own pace. It's very easy to sign up for, very easy to work through. Um, and it's one of the things that we love offering and love working with and was happy to bring to everyone here. If you are not a certified trainer, this course is 46 hours, and we have, like I said, the directory of requirements by state that you can see what their requirements are and make sure it fits first. We also have the directory site. If you are familiar with our other um, platform, Syndicate 12, it is built very much the same way. Um, it is your own profile just for peer specialists where people can search. Uh, it also has the capability where peer specialists can uh, communicate and work with other peer specialists, get advice, um, even find you know someone to help them for supervision hours. It's all built in there, whatever your needs are. So we also have the matching. And like I said, there's about a little under 200 different points that we wait and match people by. But, you know, it's passions, your experiences. It's all designed to help you make those better connections and build rapport quickly. We found that most people 
uh, when they first meet with someone, it's they spend half the session just kind of getting to know if they're a good fit or not. With this matching algorithm, it actually will help kind of establish that from the get go. So you know that kind of the person that you're working with. And our telehealth app, um, one, it was designed for HIPAA first. Everything we built, um, we've tried to limit all third party tools. It's all in house, all self hosted and secure HIPAA servers. Um, on this, as you can see on the screen, you make your own schedule. Um, we allow it to be, we have it capacity to chat, to chat anytime you want to. You can pick a specific time to chat. You can video call. You can do an audio call. You can actually schedule a in-house consultation and a um, like a visit location where they can come to you or you can come to them or a predefined place. Or you could just take them off and just do chat if you'd like or you know pick what you want. It's as flexible as we can make it. Um, and you just pick your hourly rate for each one, pick your time schedule, you know, pick your days off. It's you're the boss here. That's kind of our goal. And in your own website, um, one, this is hosted by us. We make sure that it's fast. We make sure that the marketing is done exceptionally well. Um, we have tons of tools built in there for the marketing, uh, over 50 different templates that you can choose from. They're all more of a profile template just to focus on the individual peer specialist, but we can do custom um, changes as well for that. So we just need a little bit about you, a photo, and you know we integrate the rest and we work with you on the rest. Um, so it really is your business, your website. It's set up where you can have a, a subdomain with us, but you can also bring your own website. Uh, some of the things that we have planned for the future, um, a virtual um, kind of a secured meeting room. It very much like the, I guess, mid 90s video game style where it's all secured. Everyone has a little avatar they can walk up close to and have a secured chat and no one else can be allowed in if you don't want. Um, you can have private meeting rooms, you can schedule appointments, you can take payments all inside of your web browser. This is not an app. This is as long as you have internet connection, you'll be able to get onto it. Um, we are in the works of making a full service uh, banking platform. Um, working now to make sure that we have the issuance of individual cards for people. This will expedite payments to peer specialists, uh, hopefully lower the fees to the peer specialist and make it easier to um, keep everything more secure, moving payments from the client to you. We are shortly going to launch um, Roku and Amazon Fire TV channels, of which you get television exposure, if you would like, as part of a member of the Straight Up Care. And we already have the Reduce the Stigma TV, and that's that's the name of the channel, and that's kind of our goal. It gets your face out there, gets people to know you, um, and is a good asset for people who are going through you know, any kind of mental health issues, they can relate to somebody and find out that they're not the only ones out there going through that stuff. Um, as I mentioned earlier, and we also have our Syndicate 12 platform, which is completely free for everyone. It is a platform where you can create all kind of posts in different formats. It's kind of pre-set up to make the most shareable formats that you can find. Um, it allows you spend 12 million plus. It allows you to add your core group of friends or support group, and you can have 
live video chat with them in real time um, inside of that platform. Also, you are building rewards for coming back for, you know, going to these meetings, for helping others, for sharing good content about recovery and addiction. And our goal is to expand this um, and work with local businesses where people can actually earn a bit of what a company would regularly spend on advertising. They would earn that money. So those people who bring businesses to advertise to us, they get an amount to pay for their peer specialist and goes into the peer specialist pocket. The businesses that would come on board, uh, think coffee shops or you know places where it's safe to gather and meet and go to. Um, I don't know how everybody else was, but after... I decided to get clean. I had a whole different range of style where the bar, the club was not the place to go anymore. So, you know, where, where would I go? I was, you know, I have a bit of a um, addictive personality or I wouldn't have been here. So I very easily traded the bar for a coffee shop and it worked out good. But I mean, what coffee shop do you go to? Where do you go? And this, this kind of gets that business that promotes a friendly, clean environment to those who are in recovery. And it works at, they can, they know that their sponsor dollars are going to help someone instead of Zuckerberg or wherever they may go. So that's what we do. We, we take your site and with our funnel, we take our directory. People go to your site. We take the videos, send them to your site with our telehealth app, send them to your site, you know, with all the social media and all the web presence that we help you set up and put together. It all goes to your site. So you are really the star of the show. We're more in the background when it comes to your interacting with your clients and your community. So what do you do now? So we sign up and we get started on building your site. We'll reach out to you via email shortly after um, in order which are received and work with getting your site picked out and building your site. And then we move forward positioning your marketing. We build out your profiles and we ensure that you are everywhere. And you know, if you would like, you don't have to, but we can help you with editing, uh, just telling your story on video and we can get it on Amazon Fire or Roku TV. And then we really ramp up your marketing and promote your business even more and hopefully empower you even more. So that's kind of what I had, our way to try to help the world, I suppose.